The flooding hit hard and fast, washing out homes and ripping up streets across Vermont. By the time Mandy Lacefield realized the impact, the water was already gushing into her basement. Lacefield, her teenage son, and her husband trudged through waist-high water to escape. Did you at any point think, you know, maybe we need to stay here? No. It was always, get out, get out. There's no reason we would have drowned in here. Everything is ruined. Every ounce of everything is destroyed. Their house in Johnson, Vermont, now sits gutted and empty. It is our first home, and we worked hard to get our credit score up enough. And then now it's like, can we bulldoze? But it's not just the families. It is the towns, villages, and communities having trouble paying the enormous bills that await them without Washington's help. I heard a, just a, a loud noise, just a boom. Near the state capitol in the city of Barrie, landslides destroyed trees and threatened houses as the floodwaters submerged homes and buildings. We saw the damage with city manager Nicholas Starelli Castro. Wow. It's just like cakes of mud. Yeah. It was, it was, it was devastating. It was, it was dangerous. Uh, we had streets turned into rivers. For the repairs that fall on Barry's shoulders, it means a multi-million dollar bill for a city with only about a $13 million budget. What do you need Washington to provide to you? We're going to need to have reimbursements that are timely. What happens if that money is delayed significantly? So for us as a government, uh, it would be devastating in the sense that we cannot, we absolutely cannot front the money to get us back to normal. Amid Congress's gridlock, FEMA is running short on money and has indefinitely paused its spending and reimbursement for some long-term recovery projects. There's some risk this money doesn't come back soon. Well, there's huge risk, no money, no recovery. Vermont Democratic Senator Peter Welch says the money will eventually be restored, but says there's worry in communities impacted by natural disasters this summer, where the federal government's dollars are desperately needed. I mean, we can't mess around with this, bottom line. And it's absolutely inexcusable for us uh, to not help the, the folks in Maui, the folks in Florida, and the folks in this case in Vermont. Vermonters are just trying to get back on their feet. Thank you. you. Any packages? including this post office in Johnson, which is still operating out of a mobile van. The Barry city manager says any delay in recovery efforts risks the city's economic future and could trigger an exodus of those who can't stay and wait. It's uh, all one big room in here. Yeah, it is. Back in the Johnson area, Mandy Lacefield knows the wait will be long. They've been living in a camper in her dad's yard with a harsh winter ahead. You have to make do with what you have, and we just... Embrace it. You're making do. <laughs> you, embrace, you embrace what you have. Realizing from a shockingly fast flood, the recovery can be painfully slow.